Hello, welcome to another Flutter tutorial. This video will show you what are extension methods and how to use them. The extension methods help to extend a class that has already been compiled. I can say like if you want to extend a functionality of a library that is already included in your app and you want to add some more methods to the library class that makes it more convenient for you to use. So one way to do it is to make helper functions like we normally do by writing some utility classes. So Roomba, the original class is in someone else's library. So we cannot just add methods there. The solution is extension methods. So we will see how to do this in a short while. Okay, so let's start. This is my main.dot file where I have a container set as home to the material app. So which has a background color. So you can see that in the simulator on the right side. Okay. So let's start by creating a new file. I named it extension demo.dart. And let me import the necessary packages, the material package, the class extension demo, which extends stateful widget. So we need a constructor here. Okay. Now we need to override the create state method. Create a state class extension demo state that extends state of type extension demo okay now the create state should return the extension demo state okay now override the build method and create the ui is coupled with app bar the title so let me create a title title is equal to let's say extension demo okay and we need to give the title here. So widget dot title. Okay. Now the body, which is a column with main axis alignment center and also cross axis alignment center and children. Okay. So if I import it in the main dot file, and we need to set this as the home of the app, the middle app. Okay. Okay, now we have it set. All right. Now let's add a text widget to the column. And I want the string which is going inside this text to have the first letter capitalized. Okay, so normally how we will do this is to write a utility class and a utility method inside that. And we will call that method, right? So let's do that. So we will write a function capitalize first letter with the string as the parameter. And we are going to check if it is not null, then we are going to return string of zero, the first letter to uppercase with the rest of the string. Okay, otherwise return the string which will be null. Okay. So let's use this method. So utils dot capitalize first letter. Okay, so you can see in the UI, it capitalized the first letter, right? So I don't want to do like this. I just want this method to be part of the inbuilt string class. Okay, so that it will be convenient to use. Okay, so how can I do that? So here comes the extension methods. So let's see how we can do that. So let's write the extension. So that will be extension on the class which you want to extend. So here it is a string class. Okay. And we are going to write a method similar to the, uh, the method in the utils class. Okay. And we're going to do the same operation here. So I'm going to copy the code from above and paste it below. So here, instead of string, we'll be using this because this represents whichever the string is calling this method. Okay. Now let's see how we can use this. So let's go to the build method and I will add one more text. And instead of utils method we will just call 
the string let me say hello world dot so you can see this uh, the capitalized first letter method is added to the string class so that you can use it directly with any string okay so it's more convenient than the other method okay now let me change the string to let's say flutter oh sorry i need the first letter to be small right okay flutter hello world okay if i save it you can see the f is capitalized okay so that works so here uh, we have extended the string class so inside the extension you can just written like you are on the string class itself and you can write your own methods and you will have access to all string methods here so let's see if we can do the same thing on widgets so let's see if we can extend widgets okay so let me create a container with a padding 15 and a margin 15 and color green with a child which is a text let me say hello world and I'm gonna set a style with new text style of font size let me set it to 50 and color color start white okay so you can see the widget in the UI right but for a text to have a container wrapped around it we have to write this much of code right and we don't want to do this in every place where we want this kind of widget right but obviously you can write an utility method and a return widget like uh, we did previously so let's see what is the proper way to do it with less code so we will make use of extension we will extend the text widget here okay and we are going to write a method which is going to return a container and I'm going to name the method add box and this is going to return the same code that we wrote above okay so let me copy the container and paste it okay but there is a problem here here we will return a text with a hardcoded text hello world right but we want to return the same widget which is calling this method right so that it will have the same properties as the calling widget right so we'll replace that with this like we did in the string method so let's use this method a new text widget which will say hello world and if you see the suggestions it will show the add box method right so you can see it is wrapped around a container but here you can see there are no styles applied as we see in the other widget because the calling text widget has no styles applied correct so let's modify this method so you can do like this so we know that the incoming widget is text so assign it to a variable and you can set the child as a new text with the data from the incoming widget and you can have the style here as well so you can write the style here so let me copy it from above so that's a style okay and you can just replace that so now we should have the same widget okay all right but uh, let's do it in a different way let's make it more loosely coupled undo everything and let's extract this text widget which is inside the container in a separate function so i'm going to say set big white text and i'm going to get it into a variable and i'll return a text with data and the same style okay now let's go to our text widget and call dot set big white text dot add box okay so we have the same result so if you want to use just the white text we can use that as well okay so this was just a simple example you can customize it any way you want okay 
so one thing to note here is we have extended a text widget right so we will not be able to use this extension on other widgets so let me create a container and if you check the suggestions it won't appear right because it is an extension on text so let's change that to a widget okay so this is just for demo purpose so you can for this demo i'm just checking if this is text okay so you may want to write a separate method or something like that all right now if i go to the container and if i check the suggestions you can see that the add box method is there correct so now this extension is available to any widget okay so let's remove the container and the next thing is uh, we are going to name the extensions so let's see what is the use of naming extensions so let me name the string extension to extended string and the widget extension to let me say extended text and i'm going to change the widget to text for now okay since we named it as extended text okay and uh, to see the use i'm going to create a new file okay so i'm going to copy this file and duplicate it and i'll rename it to extension demo 2 okay and i'm going to remove the utility classes and the extension methods from this file okay now we are going to import the extensions from the other file okay so import extension demo and i'm going to say show now it will show the suggestions so i'm going to import the extended string so the error is gone now i'm going to extend import the extended text okay now the second error should be gone now if you want to hide it you can change the show to hide so the use of naming an extension is you can import it in any file and it will be available in that file so wherever you want you can just import it now if i go to the extended text and if i add an underscore in front of it and if i so everything else remains the same okay so if i go to the extension demo 2 you can see that it's no longer available so let me add an underscore okay you can see that it's no longer available and it will the methods will show error okay so that's because so let me add underscore to the extended string as well okay so the both methods are showing error because if you add an underscore then that extension will become private to that file so here this extension is now private to this file okay so keep a note of it okay so that's how you can extend any input classes or libraries that are integrated in your app with help of extension methods and you can have a, an extension on a widget as well and you can have your own properties added okay so i think this will be useful for your applications so if you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share please leave your valuable comments in the comment section below also hit the bell icon for more updates thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye